Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about industrial control hardware and a method that is commonly used to ensure that this sometimes critical hardware functions without any issues at all. I am talking about the use of redundant systems and or hardware in control scenarios. For the purpose of this video, we want to talk about the basics of why it might be necessary for the use of redundant hardware in the more critical industrial processes and other important areas. We will talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of using redundant hardware, as well as try to determine if redundancy is even needed or possibly required for your specific scenario. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the use of redundant hardware systems to find out why they are needed and what information you should look at when trying to decide if it makes sense for your specific scenario. First and foremost, there are many different factors that come into play when determining if the hardware you are using needs redundancy or not. In many cases, it is required by code. You should always consult with a qualified individual to ensure that your systems meet all local codes and guidelines before any plans are finalized. The potential safety risks that exist if these guidelines are ignored can be catastrophic. With that said, let's start there with the risk assessment. Typically, when you're considering some kind of redundancy, you are assessing risk in your scenario. For example, if power is lost to some critical hardware, it might cost a very large amount of money. Or if a certain I.O. point fails in a plant environment, it can potentially create a very dangerous situation. These are perfect examples of when redundancy in the hardware that you are using might be needed. As mentioned before, there are some situations where the use of redundant hardware might be required. For instance, in critical safety systems, you will almost always see the use of redundant hardware being used. This hardware can range from a power supply to PLCs and controllers and I.O. modules. In safety systems, all of this hardware will most likely have some kind of redundancy built in. Not to mention that these systems will also need to be safety rated in most cases. However, there are some situations where you simply don't want to lose power because you need to collect valuable information. And the loss of power might jeopardize that information collection process. This is a situation where it might not be required. However, it may be wise to allow for some redundancy to avoid this type of situation. In this case, you might use a redundant power supply in case your primary device fails. Please keep in mind that when you decide to install redundant hardware, you need to ensure that the hardware that you are using has that specific capability. Some hardware cannot function in a redundant setup, therefore it will need to be replaced with something different. There are scenarios where you can simply add a second piece of hardware and some kind of redundancy module to allow for the use of both units in your particular system. This is quite common with things like power supplies. In many cases, the power supply itself will not be rated for redundancy, but by pairing it with a redundant diode module, you can use both power supplies and provide your system with the added benefits that redundant power supplies can offer. There are many different situations and scenarios where using redundancy makes sense and equally many situations where it does not make sense. While the use of redundant hardware can provide peace of mind and added safety and security, it does typically come at a very steep price, which is one of the biggest drawbacks to implementing this type of hardware configuration. As mentioned before, some situations require this set setup whether you want to implement it or not. So it is important to plan for those added costs in those particular situations. Either way, having a better understanding of hardware redundancy can be very helpful, especially when it applies to your specific application. For a full line of industrial control hardware, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website, 
For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also don't forget, like and subscribe.